Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Meet Hans Warner, co-founder of McKinsey's Automotive and Assembly Practice in the Americas in the Detroit office. He's been with the company since 1991 and has over 34 years of work experience in the automotive industry. He works on client service that's focused on end-to-end -end automotive value chain. Warner and the McKinsey team recently visited Automotive News headquarters to share insights on the future of the industry. The U.S. economy has been still growing and quite, you know, also adding employment. So all that points to, I would say, worst case, a soft and short recession, my view, or best case, a never happening recession or eternally postponed. Officials say part of the big threats we see in the near term is labor disruption, as the UAW and Unifor head into talks with the Detroit Three. Warner says McKinsey is already operating in a market with a labor shortage, but a lot of unrest in the labor markets in North America continues. So what risks will this cause? And what's the broader impact? However, I, I feel confident that there is still a big portion in the labor force who are not participating yet in the labor market. And you can read uh, the same economical analysis and statistics. So I, I do think there is a little bit what I would call a hidden latent potential. When it comes to the labor force, Warner says it's not only about wages and compensation. In order to activate that potential, companies need to have talent development and need to make a case why they can attract and reattract those that aren't participating, while also focusing on retaining employees. So that talent value proposition is much, much more important. And that has to do with skill development. It has to do with company culture. It has to do also with a productive collaborative work environment. So elements beyond monetary aspects. To hear more from Hans's conversation, check out the Daily Drive podcast. That's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at autonews.com. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.